So today Enders made a video talking about how unbalanced the hind and condor are in Battlefield 2042 and I wanted to echo this. I have been complaining about this since the game launched. A lot of people have been complaining about it. Anybody with half a brain can see how unbalanced the hind and condor truly are. As I said, I wanted to make a video talking about this and amplifying the message so dice get it through their thick skulls that having a flying tank quite literally is completely unbalanced now i'd show you some footage of me dominating with this thing on exposure but i have yet to play as attackers on exposure which is really really fun you know always playing the same uh, side because the game just puts you always in a new lobby but that's besides the point so the Condor and the Hind, why are they so unbalanced? Well, one, they take far too many hits to actually kill with any of the launchers. Uh, you can do pretty much whatever you want, but if, if a squad is doing is working together and playing with something like the Hind, they can just decimate the entire enemy team. You have the pilot, you have the guy with the 50mm cannon, and then you have two repair donkeys on either side, plus it has two 360-degree mini guns on either side as well which makes three weapons two repair guys plus the pilot and then you have obviously the flare which recharges quite fast and you can also repair when you unlock that for the hind for comparison's sake okay this is supposed to be a transport vehicle right the hind is supposed to be a transport vehicle for comparison's sake battlefield 4 which is probably the game that is closest in terms of timeline to battlefield 2042 the Blackhawk helicopter, right? That was the transport vehicle in Battlefield 4. It had a minigun on either side, didn't have 360 degree coverage. You could only go a certain angle before you couldn't aim anymore or turn anymore. So the pilot would have to angle the chopper in either side for you to be able to shoot. And only one of the person, one of the two could shoot the miniguns in a specific direction. If not, you'd had to re-angle the chopper in another direction to get the other gunner to shoot. Now, granted, you could repair the Black Hawk helicopter. It only took two RPGs to actually take down, and it didn't have the mobility that the Hind and the Condor have in Battlefield 2042. So in Battlefield 2042, they take about four rockets to down, repairs stack, so if you have two people repairing, the repairs stack. I don't think that was the case in Battlefield 4, uh, and then you have, obviously, the 50mm cannon, which is incredibly OP. It takes only two shots to destroy any light vehicle. Uh, if you're flying straight above a tank, he's pretty much dead because he can't aim up that high. And even the Wildcat is a sitting duck. I think it takes like three hits or four hits to destroy an armored vehicle. And uh, the Wildcat, which is supposed to be your AA like vehicle, is pretty much useless because of how much health the hind and the condor have like i don't understand how in their testing stuff like this doesn't come out how people don't speak up about this is it because these people have never played a battlefield game they have no clue what they're playing and how to balance it properly because anybody that's been playing since launch knows that the condor and the hind are way too good to be transport vehicles. They shouldn't have all that weaponry. They shouldn't have that much health. I never really play in the hind all that much, but honestly, it's becoming such a frustration that as Enders said, I'm gonna say too, why not just abuse it? You know, that's what everybody's doing. Everybody's noticing that the hind with a full squad of pre-made people with a pilot, a gunner and two repair donkeys is just damn near unkillable. Now I can already hear people saying, well, why don't you use Rao and hack it? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It takes too many hits to kill the hind. By the time you actually get to kill it or shoot another rocket at it, it's gone behind cover waiting for its flares to recharge. It's got the two repair donkeys going and then it's back into the fight just like that. Like, there, there's not, there's, there's basically nothing you can do uh, against a well-coordinated squad. And hell, even a bunch of blueberries in the hind can do really good. If the pilot has any sense of what he's doing, they can live far longer than they should. And this problem is exacerbated in exposure because there's a lot of LOS areas or line of sight areas that the hind can get to very quickly because of obviously the very tall mountains and cliffs all over the place. It's very easy for the hind to duck out and go behind cover, which I really think exacerbated and just showed people how bad and how OP the hind really is with the map exposure like it, it, it's just they need to nerf it there's no way around it there's a ton of things they could do to the hind they choose not to or they just 
they're, they're doing other things, but they're not paying attention to the glaring balance issues with the game. And honestly, it just makes for a very unfun experience. The one good map that 2042 now has is just being completely destroyed by hind users. I mean, it's not their fault. It's there. They should use it. But DICE needs to do something because the transport vehicle shouldn't be that powerful. There's no reason for a transport vehicle to have all that weaponry, all that health, have the ability to get two people to repair at the same time, uh, it's just ridiculous. They, they don't know how to balance a game. That's just what it comes down to. DICE has absolutely no clue how to balance 2042. So if you also think that the Hind and the Condor are incredibly overpowered, say something. Make your voice heard. Start spamming these vehicles until they are finally nerfed and they are actually transport vehicles instead of being flying tanks. But anyways, that'll do it for today's video. Uh, yeah, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, thank you very much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.